How y'all doing? Peace and blessings to all. Jesus loves you. you know, but you know who loves you more. Man, look. So, I was just in my room, sitting down, chilling. Quiet. And, uh, Holy Spirit. My life is not my own. My choices are not my choices. But I had did like this, right? You put your hand right here between your eyes, right? You close the right eye. You see one half or something, right? Close the left eye. You see the other half. What that is is perspective. You get two different perspectives on one thing. Holy Spirit ministered to me and said, don't take everything for face value. Don't take everything for what it is or what it seems to be. And that coincides with what I read, Proverbs chapter 23. Uh, verses one through three basically talks about um, don't be desirous for the dainty meats that are in front of you when you eat with the uh, uh, king. <laughs> but yeah, for his meats, it looks good, but his meats is not good for you and everything like that, right? So just take this message and always remember, you know, there's two sides to every story. Don't take what you see for face value. Don't take what you see from people posting on their social media, how they talking and everything like that for face value. They may be hiding something that you don't know about or something the case may be, whatever, whatever the case may be. And I'm sure you all know this, but this is just a quick reminder. Know that anyone can be used. Like I said in one of my old videos, we may see a murderer or a rapist walking down the street, but that person may be used to glorify the name Jesus. Don't take what you see from face value. Stop looking at people start looking within them looking in the spirit looking at their souls you know keep practicing at it practice make perfect right and that's it for this one love y'all most gangster thing you could do man is give your life to Jesus bro mm -hmm. I said cause Paul was a gangster bro mm -hmm. look at what Peter did Man, that dude mess with Jesus, he cut dude's ear off, man. <laughs> Come on now. Like, it's so fulfilling when you shed that light of Jesus on someone and they turn around and tell you, hey man, I was going to off myself yesterday, but because you said what you said, because you prayed with me, mm. man, I put the gun down. 